I recently maxed my main account, but the fun doesn't stop here. My next goal is to obtain every untradeable, equipable, or cosmetic item in the game that I can possibly get. Hello, it's been a while since I recorded something on my main. I've been focusing so much on my group Iron Man that I just haven't really done anything on my main. But I decided, since I'm doing thieving right now on my group Iron Man, that I could probably do something AFK on my main. So one of my max fashion scape goals is to get the different tiers of mining gloves. Plus mining amethyst, which is how I'm gonna get the mining gloves, is decently profitable, which I need money for bonds right now. So two birds with one scone, I guess. Here at Bologna, you can trade her and you can see there are mining gloves and superior mining gloves. When mining anything in the members area of the mining guild, you can get unidentified minerals which you can use to buy things in this shop here. The different rocks give different chances of receiving unidentified minerals. The highest ones are amethyst and rune, so obviously I'm going to be doing amethyst. There are actually three different types of mining gloves. There are the normal mining gloves, which cost 60 unidentified minerals, and the superior mining gloves, which cost double that. And then once you've bought both of those and have 60 extra unidentified minerals, you can talk to Bologna and ask her to combine them to make expert mining gloves. When wearing mining gloves while mining, there is a chance that the rock will not be depleted and you'll just keep mining the rock until it depletes. This only works with silver, coal, and gold, but with the superior mining gloves, it works with mithril, adamant, and rune. So the expert mining gloves do all of those plus amethyst. Before going for unidentified minerals, you should probably talk to Bologna and click toggle minerals and just make sure that you will receive minerals. I've never mined Amethyst before, at least not in this area. Apparently you have to talk to her first. And since I have the Falador Elite Diary, I can just go in. And just to keep track, I'm starting with 14.5 mil mining XP. And also just so he fits the theme. Now he's pink. I guess there's not much else to record beyond this, so I'm just gonna AFK here and go back to playing my group Iron Man, and I'll see you back if anything interesting happens, or if I get my first 60 unidentified minerals. I probably should have bought the first mining gloves a while ago, but I just didn't feel like recording on the screen for a while. I was too busy on my group Iron Man. Anyways, I have well over 60 unidentified minerals right now, and here's the rest of my loot so far. Here's the first level of mining gloves, and since I have nothing in my glove slot, I'll just be wearing these while I keep mining amethyst. Here's how they look on. I like how they kind of blend in with the prospector jacket, although I think the blue ones would probably go a lot better with this. Maybe if I had the gold prospector outfit, it would be better. Anyways, the first two tiers of gloves are pretty much useless because I'm just mining amethyst. But I will need to get the first two tiers of gloves twice though, because you combine the two of them to make the expert mining gloves, which do help with amethyst. Well, Leagues is coming up in a few days and I have quite a bit of GP and all of this stuff, so I think I'm just gonna sell it now. It sucks because I wanted to like keep it all and have a big thing of loot at the end, but I guess that's just not gonna happen <laughs> because I really need money for bonds and I currently only have 8 days left of membership. 
and League starts in just a few days. Looks like all of that got me 11 mil. I'm gonna be making videos on the Shattered Relics League, so I guess you'll see those videos before this one because I kinda don't wanna upload this video until I'm done with this grind. Okay, I now have enough unidentified minerals to buy the Superior Mining Gloves, which work with Mithril, Adamantite, and Runite Ore, and they also go with this outfit. They look pretty good. And now what I'm gonna do is save up 60 unidentified minerals and once I have 60 I can combine the two that I have to make expert mining gloves and that way they will work with amethyst which is what I'm still mining. And then of course after that I'll keep mining amethyst and buy back my mining gloves and superior mining gloves. Here's the loot that I have so far and I think I'm gonna sell it now because I need some money for bonds. I didn't realize I already had 60. <laughs> I've just been AFKing while I'm editing this video. Also nice. But now I can make the expert mining gloves. Can you combine my mining gloves? Yes. Also, I realize I probably should be wearing this because it has a chance to give you extra ore. I just keep forgetting and I play this account or at least go to Amethyst on this account like very far apart, like after like weeks of not playing. <laughs> anyway, so now I have the expert mining gloves. So it combines the effects of the normal mining gloves and the superior mining gloves into one glove so that I don't have to have both of the lower tiers, but it also applies to amethyst. So now whenever I wear these, I have a 25% chance to not deplete the ore when mining amethyst. And it's different percentages for different types of rock. And it's not really that useful for Amethyst if you think about it because you have like all of these spots here and they respawn after about 75 seconds. So it's not like you have to be worried about the ore being depleted unless for some reason you're mining where there's a bunch of other people. So really mining gloves are the most useful for runite and adamantite ore because those are like the higher level ones and you usually have to hop worlds to mine those plus you're competing with other people. It matches the prospector outfit pretty well though. So now that I have these, I kind of just have to re-obtain the mining gloves and the superior mining gloves. I mean, at least the expert mining gloves will make mining amethyst a little bit more AFK. And it's nice to like have the big thing out of the way, so now I can save up for the other ones. And of course this isn't a collection log series. I have to have the actual item like in my bank or in my storage somewhere. I have to have it myself so that I can use it for fashion scape or just wear it whenever I want. I've just been AFKing and I gathered up 180 unidentified minerals instead of like getting each of these like separately. I decided to just wait until I had the full amount for both of the gloves so that I can just buy them both at once and now I have the complete set because I'm wearing these. Oh and by the way someone pointed out in the comments of that video that I did testing out the different ways to get unidentified minerals. Someone said that the Varrock Armor 4 might work for unidentified minerals, but they're not completely sure and I feel like the wiki words it in a way that's like not completely clear so I don't know if it works for unidentified minerals or not. But I kind of feel like it did, I don't know. So I started with 14.5 mil mining XP and now I'm at 16.6 .6, so I gained just over 1 mil mining XP in this grind. And I really love how these gloves, like, 
the superior and expert mining gloves really match the prospector outfit, or at least the default one, although the expert mining gloves really go with the Varrock armor for and the other ones don't. And I don't have the golden prospector outfit, but I feel like this would match it pretty well. It might be like slightly different yellows or something, but I'm sure most people wouldn't notice anyway. So that's kind of nice that you can have like some matching gloves for your prospectors. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to figure out how long exactly this grind took. Plus I was pretty inefficient a lot of the time, I was just like, like half-ass AFKing this on the side while doing other stuff, so you're probably not missing out. And here's my ending loot. I don't think I've sold any gems since starting, but I know I've sold some of my ore to get enough money for a bond. <laughs> But geez, just in this last section of my grind, I have 17 mil worth of amethyst. Also, at first I did not save sapphires. I would just drop them and keep all other gems, but I feel like it's easier to just bank the sapphires instead of like having to worry about dropping them. So I just started banking them, and I wish I had banked them from the start so that it could be consistent, but it was really only like in this last section that I started banking my sapphires. Okay, I just checked and I did sell some gems before. <laughs> It's been a while and I had to just like look at my older clips in this video because I mean as you can probably tell from me like talking about thieving on my group Iron Man and Shattered Relics League that I've been slowly working on this video for a while. I don't play this account that often and when I do it's usually like making some other type of video and not just like sitting here mining because it's kind of hard to afk this account and play another account because i'm usually doing like other stuff at the same time like watching youtube usually but anyway so adding everything up from what i've sold in the past and what i have currently right now i have mined a total of 7,889 amethyst 31 rubies 80 emeralds and 9 diamonds and a of course these 52 sapphires and probably a lot more sapphires that I dropped and I may have also dropped some emeralds as well in the past but I don't really remember. I really need to get better at keeping track of these things so hopefully my next video in this series will be better. And adding up the cost of everything, well first with just the amethyst I've made 36 mil just from the amethyst or specifically 36 point 2 mil, but adding all of the gems that makes it 36.4 mil. So that's a pretty decent amount of money, but of course this took like a long time to do. Well I think mining amethyst is about like 300k an hour, usually more, so if I just calculate that then this grind probably took me like 120 hours. But of course it's most likely been longer because I've been really inefficient. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I've completed my goal for this video which was to get all three of the mining gloves. And next video I'll start some other grind. And I do have a couple of and I do have a couple of ideas of what I want to do, but you'll have to find out what they are in the next video, which probably still won't come out for a while. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day or night or whatever time of day it is. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, lovelies. By the way, I just wanted to quickly mention the updates to my untradeable cosmetics list. So since I uploaded the last Max Fashionscape video, there have been some updates added to the game, and now I have even more cool Fashionscape to work towards, which I'm not complaining about. 
The first is all of the equipable items from Guardians of the Rift, which I'm really excited for. I love this outfit. And then Giant's Foundry came out, so there's also a smithing outfit. And even Tombs of a Basket has a few untradeable items. Specifically, the gems you attach to your Karis Partisan, all of them are untradeable and look very cool. And one of them is great for Calphite Queen, so that should be useful whenever I go for all Slayer Helm recolors. And the Mask of Rebirth, which if you don't know, is a cute little easter egg item. But it's not easy to get, you have to defeat each demi-boss on your own or get MVP in a group. But I think you might be able to do each boss in a separate trip and bank the items in between. I might make a separate video about it. And this isn't in the game yet, but we might get quest speed running. It's where you redo a quest and if you complete it in a certain amount of time, you get rewards. There's probably going to be an outfit reward, so I'm looking forward to that. Quest speed running honestly sounds kind of fun. I don't think I missed anything, but as always, the list of items I need to get will be in every video description in this series. That's all. Bye!